Today I had a special request from D to make some rectangular ear wires using the square mandrel pliers. These are the Weber's brand. I have two different sizes. For the samples I'm going to use 20 gauge tarnish resistant brass. You can use any 20 gauge half hard wire that is hypoallergenic. I also like to use Argentian silver for my ear wires. So I have two pieces of wire that are about six inches long. I'm going to cut the ends flush with my flush cutters and take my small round pliers to make a loop. So we're just going to take that, make one loop. And then the hack I like to use to make earrings the same size, put the two wires together. Then we could get our square mandrel pliers and just hold this snugly and push with your thumb to make a sharp bend. And then we're going to take this and depending on how wide you want them, we're going to hold them together and push again with our thumb. Straighten them out and then at the height that you want, we're just going to hold this in place and push that straight across. Hold that where we're going to want the bend to be and just bend it up on a bit of an angle. Now we're going to separate them and you can take this here and just rotate it a half turn. Keep in mind you can hammer these as well to make them stiffer. You can do less of an angle if you want. Clip the end. So now you can file the end or use this reamer stick the end and then you rotate it around to soften it up. If it's not stiff enough you can hammer it and then you're just going to be able to stick that through the ear and then it's going to close like that. If you want to make a fancy spiral kind of rectangle hook we're just going to take the two wires clip the ends flush We'll take our mandrel pliers and we're just going to hold this and bend it across. And then you can also bend it across here depending on how wide you want the rectangle. So then we're going to just smooth it down. Decide how long you want them. You can make them quite long if you like. And then bend that one across. Push it down with your thumb and up. Again, push it with your thumb. At around this position, we're just going to take the wire, bend it across, give it a good push with your thumb. Now we want this area to be smaller, so we're going to rotate those, hold it in there, and push it down. Again, push it right down there. And then we can make another bend around this position, push it and I'm going to get my smaller ones so we're going to take this next size down hold it in place and push it straight up Let's push it straight up there again where you want the next bend hold it in place give it a push and then I'm going to lift this rotate it to the smaller one hold it and bend it down. Straight down. And then here we're going to bend it around here. Just wiggle them around a bit to separate. If you find they get too tangled up, once you've done that initial bend, separate them and do the rest separately. I want a smaller square so I'm going to get my tweezer nose pliers and I'm going to take this and bend it up, give it a good push, and then bend this straight across, give it a good little push. So it makes a small square, clip that wire, get our flat pliers, push them all in place. You can use the reamer to soften the end. You can hammer them with a mallet so they hold their shape more. You 
can also do this in a round form like a paper clip and this part goes right into your ear and your earlobe sits there. So now I'm going to do one with a bead so the ends are cut flush and we're just going to make a loop on each end and then we're going to line these up. I'm going to hold them with the loops towards me. Take the mandrel pliers again and we're just going to hold this in place at whatever length you want and give it a good push with your thumb and another push down. You can actually hammer right on the pliers. If you fix them to a surface and hammer it, it'll make a sharper bend if you hammer on each side. So we're going to bring this one down and then add about the position that you want the bottom part. We can just take this and bend it out on a bit of an angle. And then we're going to cut these ends the same size so they're flush and you can file that with the reamer. So now I'm just going to get a classic black onyx bead. This is six millimeters. Cut this to about three eighths to half an inch. Take your round nose pliers, push this back and around. Hook the bead onto the earring hook and close it up. And there you have your beautiful rectangular earring hooks with the dangling beads. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.